Welcome back to another Key Productive video. Today we'll be exploring Rome versus Obsidian versus Notion. Now we're partnered with leading software comparison and review site Captera to help you make informed decisions on what software you choose. So you can use Captera's wide variety of insights and reviews to help you improve your decision making. It's really fantastic to have them on as a sponsor. And in today's video, I'm bringing together my own knowledge to review these apps. So let's dive in. Now, all of these applications can be used for personal note taking with Notion being the exception for using it for Teams. But we're gonna mainly focus on personal note taking and sort of focusing in on that element. So let's start with availability. The first Notion is available on all devices. Now, Obsidian, actually is available on all devices as well, but most recently added their iOS and Android application, making it much more accessible for people on mobile. Whilst Rome Research does have a web application, as well as a macOS and desktop app, they don't sadly have any mobile versions. Now, when we look at pricing, Notion is priced at $5 per user per month, and that's the personal pro plan. So it's much more suitable for people who are using Notion, but want to add a few additional features. There is also an $8 per month pricing for the team plans, and that's billed annually. If you're looking at Obsidian, it is free to use, which is great. And there's really no limitations to it on the free plan. It's also downloadable, so you can get it on your devices and loses local storage. However, if you wanted to use their sync plan, it's $8 per month. However, if you wanted to upgrade further to their publish plan, which is perfect for those building digital gardens, you're looking at $16 per month. Now looking at Rome, they don't really have any free plan per se, I believe they have a free trial, but their ongoing rate is $15 per month with some deductions if you were to go with the annual plan or the five year plan that Rome have. Now looking at features, Notion is primarily a builder experience, so you can set things up how they best suit you. So you can use some of their templates and most importantly, databases that differentiate it between Obsidian and Rome. Now Notion really does have quite a lot in their package. It's more of an all-in-one system, whereas Obsidian and Rome are much more focused on their graph views and their ability to create notes and link notes, which Notion does have, but in a very micro, more generalized sense. So if you're looking for research and being able to bring Bring knowledge uh, collectively using bi-directional links, then Obsidian and Rome are much more suitable. Obsidian and Rome also have some really great plugins that the community are building quite rapidly. Whilst Notion does have an API, it does have some great plugins too, but Obsidian and Rome have plugins that are much more suitable for those using note taking specifically. Now, who would we best recommend this for? Notion is really best for those personal users who want to build their setup and naturally who aren't necessarily invested in the bi-directional linking methodology that might be so prevalent at for note takers. But Obsidian and Rome are really great note connectors. If you're looking to build uh, a real brain and side of your uh, your note taking application. I would say Obsidian is great for those who are looking to go offline and that have a lower budget. However, Rome is much uh, more sort of uh, in depth with its features in my opinion. However, it doesn't have the sort of mobile applications that Obsidian has and it is a little bit more premium on the old wallet. Hopefully this helped you pick out an application in the note taking space. Obsidian, Rome and Notion are all really great popular note takers and they're really for a different set of users. So make sure you check them out in full research. You can check out the reviews of these applications using Captera and we'll link them in the description below. Thank you very much folks and hopefully you found this review helpful. Cheerio!